Hey guys, recently on my live show, I talked about lectins and the immune system, and I wanted to just elaborate on that a little bit. Now, what is a lectin? Okay, well, lectins are large protein molecules made by plants. Plants are chemical factories, and plants have evolved over time and defended themselves against insects and other predators by creating lectins. Okay, there's other things that they use too, but lectins are one of them. And so when the plant or you consumes a lectin, it can create uh, issues with your digestive tract and it can create inflammation because what it does is it attaches to the gut lining and it can make a hole through it, okay? So if you took your small intestine and spread it out, it would be the size of a tennis court, okay? So there's a huge surface area, but only a one cell thickness. So these lectins have the ability to uh, make a hole through it, okay? So the problem is this leakiness in your gut allows other proteins to go through, okay? The immune system is on the other side. It's going to attack it and create antibodies. And it's going to be involved in a lot of inflammatory conditions and even autoimmune conditions, whether it's Hashimoto's, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, MS, and there's a whole list of them. So the point of this video is this. If you have an autoimmune condition or you have some chronic inflammatory condition and you're doing keto, and intermittent fasting, okay, but you still are not getting relief, you may want to consume foods low in lectins. So let's talk about the ones that are high. Of course, you wouldn't be eating this, but wheat is very high. Gluten is a lectin, okay, and we know that this uh, tears up the intestines and creates all sorts of problems. Corn is high, soy, legumes, definitely peanuts. Uh, but what you may not realize is tomato, squash, primarily the seeds, uh, potato, which you wouldn't be eating if you're on keto, eggplant, peppers, okay, the nightshades. So there's a whole list of additional foods that I would recommend avoid consuming because they're high in lectins if you have an autoimmune condition because you just may find that it reduces your inflammatory state. Now also realize that vegetables that are fermented have less lectins. So there are things that you can do to lessen the amount. But I put a link down below uh, of a more of a complete list of lectins from high to low so you can see if this can help you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.